Hey, there he is. There's Philippe. Well, hello. Hey, could you turn your 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 device that way? Maybe. Did it work last time when I did this? Oh, did it? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Some problem. Excellent. Very good. Is it working? Yeah, it's working. Okay. Okay. Sweet. Hey, listen. Before I start, look what came in the mail. Oh, if I didn't think it was going to get there because it had an American flag on it. If, <laughs> oh, if no. that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, it just came, it just came last morning. So when I when I got out the house. Oops, 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 oops. When I got the house, they handed it up to me. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, I, I, uh, Philippe won some Freewell filters, uh, but Freewell said, nah, we don't, we don't ship there. I was like, what? Uh, <laughs> sorry, I, I'm on a mobile, mobile phone, and it just fall. Well, <clears throat> so here it is. From China, you cannot send anything here, but you can send it from US. So it's weird. Like, we can have somebody buy something from Amazon and then send it to us and it arrives about maybe a month later but from China nothing comes here even though the Chinese own Iran huh. weird and and uh, what's the deal with the the time being 30 minutes off than the rest of the world what's up with that I, I have no clue I have <laughs> listen our date is 1400 so I'm not sure what's going on oh that's on. right it's only 1400 there yeah, we are not in 2021 it is for 1400 Oh, what? okay. Well, yeah. It's because, um, go ahead. Well, because in 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 United States and in Western uh, world, they go is based on Jesus or something. I'm not sure. Well, when did it start to counting? Well, here but, we count from the day that the prophet went from one city to another city. Right. It's. Oh. I think it's. You know. It's uh, B C and A D for the rest exactly. of the world. Exactly. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. And I can understand why Iran wouldn't want to get along with that. <laughs> but uh, you've got an amazing story of how. Now you're you're an Iranian national. You were born there. Yes, and, and, I was born here. And and uh, then what happened? You went away. You came to the United States, and now you're back there. Can you give us that story very quickly? Uh, yeah, sure. Well, my dad is Russian. And my dad is a uh, second generation, so my grandfather came from Russia during the Nikolai, came to Iran as an officer, and then he basically stayed here with my my dad and my uncle and my aunt. And then they, my dad married my mom, and I was born in Tehran, Iran, and around nine years old, I they sent me away to Germany. I was in Germany for about 10 years, and then I decided to go to United States, Utah, Salt Lake City. <laughs> so... And I went to Salt Lake, got married, lived there pretty much. I mean, I moved around. I lived six years in Key West, Florida, and then a year in Phoenix, a couple years in uh, Salt Lake City. And then uh, about five years ago, my mom was sick and she couldn't travel anymore. So I decided to come here. But I didn't have no passport. I mean, I had nothing that it would show that I'm Iranian, except that in my American passport says nationality Iran. And then I says, okay, I want to go to Iran. And they're like, well, you can get in, but get out, that's, we don't know it's going to happen or not. So I said, it's okay. I mean, it's my mom. My mom is six and I have to see her. And then I decided I came to Iran and it wasn't, it was, I mean, you know, I was about 24 hours in the airport to make sure that's who am I and why am I here? Why is my name Flea? Why I speak Farsi and everything else. But then they let me go and uh, I stayed with my mom and then I, uh, decided to come back to us and i met the woman and i got married and i stayed that's an amazing story so you speak farsi english and german and german yes what what uh, do you do you find occasion to speak english uh, in tehran a lot or no yeah a lot yeah a lot i mean during the i mean there's a lot of iranian that's go back and forth or studied in america and then they come back here um, I speak, I have two kids in Salt Lake City. I speak with them. Um, no, I do, I do, I spend a lot. And what happened is it's um, a friend of my mom. It's a very well-known director. I mean, it's like the biggest director in Iran. And then he said, you want to act in one of my movies? And I'm like, sure, as a foreigner. And I'm like, sure, why not? And that's that was my beginning in then acting in the Iranian world because I never acted before. Um, I mean, I only so far have been either a British spy or an American spy <laughs> or a Russian spy. But uh, so you're you're a villain. <laughs> I, I'm I'm always a villain. Oh. I'm always a villain. But here, but here's the funny. 
it's I'm the villain like Godfather. Everybody loved the Godfather, even though he was the villain. Right. And here it's like that too. My my uh, my acts are such of you know be, people start liking me. Like in the street, they call me by you know one of them. I was Edward Denzel. I was a British act. And like, hey Edward, how are you doing? You know, they want to take a picture. And so it, it's it, I'm the good villain here. Okay, so uh, you're you're an actor and a photographer. And uh, uh, photography, yeah, and yeah, and I well, three years ago I became known with the drone world, and then I started kind of playing around with it. Okay, now I'm gonna play. So we're gonna ask you all about the drone stuff and what it's like to fly there. Sure. But for sure. for those, and and I played this clip for Sean, and he was amazed because I think a lot of people mistake um, Iran for Iraq a lot, uh, and and, and yeah, other parts true. of the Middle East. And they don't yes. realize what it actually looks like there. So uh, this this is a I guess you're sitting on your on your house here, and I'll go ahead and, and share this. This this is this might surprise people. Sean, what did you tell me when you saw this? Uh, well, I, I'm going to sound like an idiot, but I, I was like, wait, where's all the sand in the desert? <laughs> right? There's a lot of green m mountains. Yeah. I was I was shocked. I didn't think it was going to be so mountainous and so green. Really, I, I really wasn't expecting that. It's actually quite beautiful there. And are you sitting on your house, Philippe? Yes, this is it's it's actually a it's a summer house. It's a it's a kind of a summer house. Uh, it's about uh, 30 kilometers from the Tehran, from the capital. And on the hot days in the summer, we go there and then spend some time there. It's actually a village and it's, and it's still like a very old village. I mean, they still make bread the old ways. Um, it, it's like only 10,000 people live in that village. Oh, but very it's cool. Close to the, but, but I lived in the capital of, of Iran, Tehran. And this is about 30 kilometers from, from Tehran. So what is it like to fly a, a drone there uh is it legal what uh, what is the iranian equivalent of the faa are there special rules because i looked i googled can you fly a drone in iran and they said no <laughs> so so the rules basically when i started when i got my first mavic pro you couldn't fly anywhere you want nobody knew anything about it um matter of fact when you used to fly everybody used to come around and police is like oh this is fine this is nice and uh, there was no there was no laws for it and then with the time they have grabbed everything that's faa you know the laws from faa from united states and european and then they implemented in iran so um Tehran, the capital, is an absolute no-fly zone. Like, you cannot fly in Tehran because the supreme leader lives here, because the Senate is here, there's a lot of military stuff. And in Iran, you cannot fly over schools, over mosques, over churches, over uh, uh, polit political buildings, over any state buildings. And Tehran is basically everything is dead. And you cannot fly over people at all. However, if you're a filmmaker and you want to fly in Tehran, you have to go get a special permission from the Revolutionary Guard, and they send somebody out with you, and the person is just there making sure that you show up on the same day on that location, and then you can film there. Everywhere else in the country, you just go to your basically local uh, uh, police station or a local courthouse and get a permit, and then uh, you can fly uh, legally in that city. Uh, if you're in the middle of nowhere, mm, it's kind of tricky. You have to know where you're flying because we have a lot of military bases that are not on the map. And like DJI doesn't know because every everything that is in Iran is DJI. And uh, so you have to be kind of careful where you fly. You need, you, you need to, even if you're, you, you can't be in the middle of desert and for miles and miles, you don't see any person. And then suddenly somebody knocks on your shoulder and says, hey, what are you doing? I'm like, well, I'm flying around. Well, well this is a military base. I'm like, where? Oh. Well, <laughs> yeah. Surprise. Yeah, gonna... Surprise. What, yeah. what happens but if what happens... you accidentally fly over something like that? You're flying and you come back to your home base and you go over a mosque and someone spots it. Um, Lots of trouble? Yeah. I, I don't think I can even tell it here. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's a big Yeah, it's, 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 it's a big yeah. It's a big you no -no. see here, 
is here in Iran is different. Here they see drone. They don't see drone as a threat that somebody is taking picture of a house because we have Google Map. You know, they see it as let's say uh, the ISIS grabbing a drone and then putting a bomb on it and then going into a mosque or something like that. But this is this is why it's very difficult. And in Iran, like in Iran, we have it, gun laws. It's absolutely the most strictest in the world. Like there is no guns. And if you find guns in the hand of a people, it's like a big no no. Um, so they are very, very, very careful with what, where you can fly and what you can fly. It's more for safety than for being all paranoid that you know America is hunting us or somebody else <laughs> is hunting us. It's more for the safety. Okay, and can is it uh, difficult to import drones to buy one? And uh, somebody asked in the chat, uh, are, do you have friends to fly with? Yes, actually, um, we we don't. So DJI doesn't have an official. Uh, store here in Iran, but every we, we buy our drones from Dubai. Every time it hits in Dubai, it takes about four days or five days and it comes to Iran. And they usually get everything faster than even the United States. So if you are supposed to get, let's say on Monday, uh, a new drone, DJI drone in the United States, in the Saudi Arabia and Dubai, they get like a week before. So we get very early on. But uh, I mean, uh, we have everything. We have uh, DJI, we have the Parrots. I mean, everything you can think of, it's here. And then, no, a lot of people are getting into FPV, too. Oh, great. Are you going to get into FPV at all? Uh, abs- no, no, absolutely not. Absolutely not. No? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those can get out of control and go places where you're not yeah. supposed And you know what, Ken? With the, with the COVID, we have been hit very hard. And so, so the cities, every city has been shut down for one year. Like, we can travel out from the city or in from the city. So me living in Tehran, I barely can fly. And if I want to fly, I have to drive about two hours away or three hours away. And since I'm a travel ban, it's not really worth it for me to invest in any new drones. Yeah. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share some more of your video here. And maybe you can uh, talk about it while we're watching and tell us where sure. and w- what this is all about. Now, some of it I had to change the music just for copyright stuff. But... Uh, this one I didn't. This. How high up are you on this? This is about two hundred and fifty meters. Okay. So don't ask me how much it entails. Yeah, and and where is this? It's about eight hundred feet. Uh, that's about uh, three hours north of Iran. So uh, it's a man-made lake. Uh, it's basically it's a, it's a recreational lake that is around it. There is houses, uh, villas, and creation you know, recreation you can come rent a boat and restaurants and stuff like that and uh, one day i went there and decided to fly actually it was my first time i flew into the clouds wow yeah we can't fly into the clouds here unless well, we the- can't either um, basically uh-huh. the new rules says 120 meters you cannot fly above 120 meters i'm not even going to say 400 mile feet or something like that oh okay so that was before the new rule this is before the new rule yeah okay. the new rule is basically identical to faa what you have to do all right and uh there's another one i wanted to, to play you you uh I, and there's a link to uh philippe's channel in the description I, I uh, urge everybody to uh, check it out and subscribe, and that will uh, encourage Philippe to put out more video. Um, you know, I'm sure already there's people whose minds are blown just by seeing this video of Iran. Um, it's not what everybody thinks it is. Uh, you know, it's not as I mean, there's a there is a stark difference. There's similarities between Iran and Iraq, but I I think people get them those two countries confused. Yes. Um, Iraq well, is Iraq much is, more. Uh, Iraq is, is yeah. an Ar- Arabic country. They speak Arabic. We speak Farsi. We can't even understand each other. <laughs> oh, yeah. And it's uh, like two different languages. I got a question for you about the geofencing. You know how the drones here, at least in the States, they, they keep you from taking off in certain areas or they'll force land you if you hit certain areas. How do they work? They're the same exact thing? Is the same thing. So basically, DJI got all the mapping from the uh, Iranian FAA, and then based on that, they mapped, you know, their software or however it was. So yeah, we cannot go close, you know, five 
five kilometers to the airports. Okay. The geofencing is all the same. And unfortunately, in Iran, what's, there's a problem that there is some airports that have been shut down, but on the DGI, it still shows that it's active. And then we go, we're in the middle of nowhere, and there's no airports, but we can't fly because it says there's an airport here. Yep, that happens here. Too. Same thing. Same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the, the thing the is, is can, uh, let me tell you this. The good thing is, is um, so the Iranian um, FAA, the, you know, kind of like FAA, they actually took over the drone rules, and then they're issuing uh, plates, or they're issuing... Uh, yeah, like plates, like car plates. That's you. You put in a number on your uh, on your drone, and with that, you're allowed to fly anywhere in Iran, easy without special permits, except Tehran, except the capital city. Okay, okay, well, that's very similar to what we're doing with the yeah. the tail number, the the FAA numbers. Um. By the way, uh. W- I want to play another one of your videos. Would it be okay if I shared the uh, the walking the dogs and shopping for a, a book video? Just a sure, little bit of sure, it. Okay. Sure. Okay. This this uh, this shows a little bit of uh, the city. This is this is not drone footage, but it shows your wife and you're in the car and you got the cute dogs. And I did have to edit a little bit just because there was a song in there that I can't play. But. Uh, Okay. So you can, maybe you can uh, talk about what's what's going on as we, as we watch this, and this is some Farsi yeah. that I can't understand. So that's the wife. Yeah, she's just explaining what we are doing, and my wife is a photographer, and she's also uh, getting her PhD in law. And then, oh, oh no, we hoping that once her PhD is done, we come to you know we're gonna move to the United States. Okay, and I see that you drive on the correct side of the road there, so that's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we drive on the back side. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, UK. <laughs> but uh, here's a bookstore. That's a bookstore, yeah. My wife's favorite store. She reads a lot of books. Yeah. And I like to look at pens and stuff like that. So she, does she speak English and German as well? Or what does she speak? No, no, no German. She speaks English and Farsi. Okay. So basically, books in Iran, everything's in Farsi. But let's say, um, you know, the book that was written by uh, Michelle Obama, it took about three months after that, somebody translated and we had it in Farsi version in Iran. So, it, it, you know, everything comes to Iran very quickly and it gets translated. And even movies, we get, uh, whenever the movies are being played in Russia, we get the next day in Iran. So oh, look at those. All the same. Look at those muffins. What are, your, are, what are your yeah, dog's names? Muffins, um... Lily and Sufi. Sufi is the mom. Lily is the baby. Okay. And I think what you're saying here is subscribe, right? No, we just say. I actually never say subscribe. Um, here is basically. Um, we are saying. You know, thank you for watching us. You know, my wife just started a um, Instagram uh, account and she's cooking and then telling story. It's a kind of a new new way she's okay. doing it. All right. All right. Um, yeah, but you know what? It's what Ken? What everybody is like thinking. Um, Iraq, because of the war that they had, they, uh, they, 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 they took a lot of damage. But Iran, we have, we, the war didn't do much into the city. And, I mean, we are st- we're having 5Gs, like it's coming 5G here. Um, based on technology, everything is here. The problem is, is every, everything is very expensive. So a drone that costs $1,000 for you, it costs us $2,000. That's a problem. Ooh. Right. I think everybody thinks that... Uh... Iran is just backwards and sandy and there's camels everywhere. And, you know, I, I, I'm sure that people watch are like, what? Wait, what? She, you know, the, she, you know, she's, she's not wearing a hijab. Uh, you know, all these things. Uh, I, I will, I will say this and I did a little bit of research. So your constitution adopted after the Islamic revolution in 1979, and this is from Google proclaim, proclaims that equality for men and women under article 20, while mandating legal code adhering to Sharia law, women are allowed to drive, hold public office, and attend university. Which is yes, that's true. Okay. Uh, well, okay. Here is the thing: the Sharia law doesn't exist in Iran. Our laws is based on uh, old French law and some new um, and Muslim law and Islam law. Mm-hmm. But the woman, yeah, I mean, here what is here very nice is 
Um, in the United States, you know, it's been always the same that the women are making less than a man. In Iran, this doesn't exist. There is one standard number that they have both make. If it's a man or if it's a woman, if it's white or black, everybody makes the same amount of money. Um, to be honest, the women, they have a lot of power here. Actually, <laughs> they have a lot of powers here. Oh, that's, so that's great. Everybody thinks that woman, yeah, everybody thinks that the women are suppressed here. Okay, because this is an Islamic country, there is certain rules, like a woman cannot become a president. Not yet. Cannot become a president. But other than, I mean, they're free to become doctors, lawyers, anything they want. Nobody, yeah, there is no, uh, the only limit is what they said themselves. Wow. Yeah, you know what? Um, I This is one thing that I love about having a YouTube channel and a community like this and a live stream is that we get to talk we get to see places that a lot of us will never uh, be able to visit and we get to talk to people in countries that we would never otherwise know so I agree now yeah, I love that part of it Ken. yeah it's it's it, it really shrinks the world and it makes me and I hope everybody realize that you know despite uh, governments and their views on other governments the people within the country are pretty much all the same. We're all just trying to get along and, and love one another and have fun and do our thing. And so it's great to know that, you know, even in a country that's as mysterious as Iran, that uh, you're doing the same things, droning and filming and everything else that, that people in Western countries are, are doing as well. It's, it's, it gives no, me a lot yeah, of hope. I mean we have, uh, we have. I mean, I must have every morning my uh, Nutella and my cornflakes made in USA. <laughs> you know? So, every, every, you know, when every time when you um, put a country on sanction, what it happens is it, it doesn't mean that nothing exists in Iran. It just ex it means that everything is more expensive because we are not like North Korea. In North Korea, you really cannot buy anything. But I mean, everything else, I mean, we have Apple Store here. It is not officially an Apple Store, but it looks perfectly like an Apple Store. <laughs> Another thing that Iran doesn't have, it's a copyright law. We don't have the international copyright law. So like in Iran, you can copy pretty much anything. And there's, there's a in national law. I cannot copy somebody else's work inside Iran but I can copy somebody from outside, and there's no laws yet. Wow, yeah, I think China <laughs> looks looks at things the same way because they're copying everything. Everything into, it's like, like uh, no, don't buy these Nikes, buy these Mikeys. But it's the yeah. same oh, swoop, you know. We have, we have fake iPhones that you can't even tell they're fake. They come from China. I mean, it's unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, you know, when, when we did uh, Prohibition in the 20s, uh, it's not like alcohol wasn't available. It was just more expensive, like you said. Same, yeah. same here. Same yeah. here. It's just more expensive. Uh, something is very funny. Iran is the third largest Bitcoin farm in the world. As we have the largest Bitcoin farm. We are third in the world. Wow. Is that right? Yeah. Chinese people, they come here because uh, um, the electricity cost here uh, 0.015 cents. And I mean very cheap it's very very cheap so everybody that wants a farm thing it's like less than 15 cents i mean tenth of a 15 cents i'm learning so much uh is, if there's yeah. anybody in the chat that has any questions for philippe um yeah i'm just so quiet because i'm taking all this in this yeah. is uh not what i expected well, you know what? If let's say if you, if you want to even come as a tourist, you have to go to the our. Uh, we don't have an embassy, but we have uh, our uh, our embassies in the Pakistan uh, embassy in Washington D.C. So if you want to ever come as a tourist, you go there, you get your visa, to tell you the rules, and they ask you what you want to do here, and then you can come here and and I can I can guarantee that nothing will happen to you, unless <laughs> if you are ex. Unless if you're an ex-military or an ex-FBI or CIA, you better not come here. But if you're just a normal filmmaker, you can come here and enjoy your time. And the money is very cheap. Like with $1,000, uh, you can be in the best five-star hotel, uh, everything you want. Because our money, unfortunately, our uh, inflation is uh, 30%. That's a lot. Oh, man. Now, I honestly, yes. um, I did some research before... I sent you that letter with the eyeballs in them. 
Mm -hmm. And uh, I saw so many restrictions, like, you know, don't do this, don't offend this, you know, like, it can't, if it, if it had anything in there that was offensive, I mean, d was the envelope unopened when you got it? Yes, it was unopened. Okay. They're even not going to open. Even with the American yeah. flag on it, it was like, okay. Even, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, there is, they, uh, Iranian are actually very strict about, um, you know, your personal, you know, freedom or what you call it, absolutely. It's, uh, I mean, the laws are basically the same. They cannot listen to your phone calls. They cannot film you without your uh, permission. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, well, what, what, what you hear in the United States, what I heard when I was in Salt Lake City, it's, I was shocked to see it. It's absolutely not like that. I mean, you know, uh, whoops. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's absolutely, I'm sorry. It's, it's absolutely really interesting like just to see, like, the propaganda that we're fed growing up, like, against each other, like our government's, make us like see things so differently than what it really seems to be. Yeah. We're kind of I mean, brought up know, to, yeah. You know, yeah, the thing is like, okay, we, we still have, um, what is very, you know, to the new world, we still hang people, but we hang if somebody kills somebody. So we still live on based on eye for an eye. But I mean, I have to tell you, so if, if I kill somebody, if the family forgive me, I only go to the jail. They don't hang me. So there is a forgiveness there too, you know? Huh. Interesting. Is your murder rate pretty is, slow due to that? Is, is it a smaller yeah, murder rate there? It's very, I mean, uh, it's, Iran is probably one of the safest countries in the world. Because, again, we don't have guns, so everybody just have a knife. And you can't even carry a knife in the car. I mean, if a knife is just bigger than, I don't know, a couple inch, it's a, it's a crime. Um, and they're very serious about it. So, yeah, the crime is very low. I mean, we do have, our problem is it's, uh, unemployment is very high. Basically, you, our problem is our relationship with the world. Do you? Uh, well, now I heard that, uh, and I apologize to France, but I heard French people don't like Americans particularly. I think that's just because, as tourists, we're a bunch of assholes usually. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I read that myself. But uh, uh, but uh, do you think uh, Iran hates uh, Americans more than France? <laughs> no, I don't. Really? Think so. Okay. I, well, he, yeah. Here, here the thing is, it's. Yeah, we have to, Ken, we have to separate the politics from the people. Yes. People love America. People love America. I mean, you know what? Iran has the highest uh, Instagram user. Iran has the highest uh, Facebook user, you know? So we, we love everything that is American. It's just the politics that we do. We, they cannot reach uh, as an agreement it's on always, hey, let's It's always the politicians other. screwing things up everywhere, isn't it? Yep. Yep. And, and you know what? And, and, and Ken, and there's a reason because Iran is the border of the Asia and the Europe. I mean, imagine if you look at the, at the, at the map, Iran is right in the middle. So it's, it's, it's a country that's always been war between the Asia and the Europe. And everybody, the European want Iran, the, the Chinese, the Japanese, the Russian, they want, everybody wants Iran. So everybody fights from Iran. And we have oil. They want the oil. They want it for cheap. So that's a problem. And who suffers? It's us regular people as we suffer. Yeah. Somebody asked a really good question in the, in the chat. Uh, do you have chain restaurants there? Like, do you, have, do you have Taco Bell or Outback or anything like that? Yeah. Is there McDonald's on every corner? No, we have fake. We have. So there, we are not allowed to name it McDonald's. They name it like McDonald's. Like they changed the D uh, to B. Oh, Our, it's like the movie Our Coming Star to America. What did they have? McDowell's? McDo yeah. <laughs> yeah, something, yeah. yeah. So we have we don't have KFC. We have like fried chicken. You know, I mean, uh, we don't have like it doesn't call Starbucks. It it called something else, but it, it's it's a copy of Starbucks. The only thing that I've seen that's there is in Iran, and the guy claims it's Five Guys Burgers. I don't know. Do you have it where you are? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five Guys. We, we have five guys. Yeah, and the guy claims that he actually got the permit. We don't know how, but he claims that he has the permit. And we have Five Guys Burger. Well, look, if if I want, I want video of you going to Five Guys and send that to me. Would you? Oh, sure. Okay. You know, but you know what, Ken? Yeah. I miss steak. We don't have American steak here. Like they they don't know how to cook steak like America do, or like especially in Texas, we don't have those good oh, steak. Yes. We have kebabs, but we don't have steak. Another thing, as I missed street tacos. I miss street tacos oh. because there's no Mexican in Iran. Oh right, yeah. Yeah, and everything, uh, street anything uh, tastes better. There's these uh, Philly uh, pretzels that they sell on the street, the soft pretzels in Philadelphia I miss. 
uh, there's just something about uh, the septibus fumes that get soaked into the pretzel that I just anyway <laughs> anyway uh, Philippe uh, I know it's it's early in the morning did, did you stay up late or did you get any sleep no you... no 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 I I set my clock to wake up at four so I can see your show and the news okay and you know how I. You remember, I, first when I saw your your show, I didn't get your your jokes, and I sent you a message. And I'm like, Ken, your your show is perfect, but I don't get your jokes. Why are you guys are laughing? And you're like, well, sorry, it's an American humor, you know. And then from that point on, I start following you. Oh, okay. I, do you do you, do you think my humor is lost on uh, other nations? <laughs> not it is. It is. I mean, yeah, your jokes is completely different. I mean, than our job. I, when I came to the United States and I was there for five years, my ex-wife, she's from Brazil, but you know lived in uh, Salt Lake City forever. She took me to a comedy club. Everybody was laughing except me, and I'm like, I'm not getting those jokes. I'm not getting those Mormon <laughs> jokes anyway, like Mormon jokes. I didn't get any of jokes. So it, it's if I tell you a joke in Farsi, you're like, hmm. And if you tell me in American, you're like, I mean, I'm used to it now because I lived there for about 14 years in Salt Lake City, and I didn't become Mormon. So <laughs> yeah, you're you're. Uh, you're not Muslim, you're right or? Well, yeah, I am Muslim. When you're in Iran, when you're marrying um, an Iranian woman, you have to become a Muslim. Oh, oh okay. But in, yes, but in Iran, uh, to become a Muslim is you just have to accept the Islam as your faith. That's it. I mean, okay. if you say right now I accept Islam as my faith, you're a Muslim. Oh, well, that's the easiest thing of all. Now, yeah, it's just basically as acceptance. You just have to accept the Islam as your faith. Well, let's let's rewind. I would like to hear a joke in Farsi. Would you tell us a, a joke in Farsi? <sighs> it can be a dirty know. joke because we won't know. No, no. <laughs> well, I mean, again, it won't make sense to you. But in Iran, in northern Iran, the people are very laid back. They are, you know, they're, it's it's very green. It's raining all the time. So we call them like very easygoing people and very kind of dumb. They're not dumb, you know, <laughs> but we call them dumb. Right. So. One guy from the northern says, I want to sell my car. And the guy is like, well, I just take the miles and then put it to zero. The guy's like, oh, that's a good idea. So the guy, you know, take his cars and then returns, you know, reverse his miles to zero. And then the guy is going like, so did you sell your car? He's like, no, since it's a new car, I'm keeping it myself. <laughs> that's actually very good. That's actually very good. Sense. Yeah. But if you say it, the accent, you know, we have over 400 or 500 accents in Iran, like different dialects. And if you're saying all those dialects, it, it makes sense, you know. So they can tell everybody. They can tell that you're not from whatever region. They like, you do you have an oh, American yes, yes. Farsi accent? <laughs> uh, no, my, I'm, it's getting better. It's getting better. But uh, I have a you know. So everybody speaks Farsi, but uh, each place has its own dialect because we are not all of them. You know, we are Turks, we are Azerbaijanis, we are Arabs. Like if you go to southern Iran. Um, you, it, it's all hot. It's hot and sand and camel, and it's beautiful. Like, like if you have a time, uh, check out the island of Kish. It's called Kish, K-I-S-H. I mean, you won't believe it. You won't believe it. In the northern, we have green. It's always green. It's a rice field. Uh, it's always raining. And then, actually, Tehran, where I am in capital, it exactly looks like Salt Lake City. I mean, you know, you should when you have a time, put Salt Lake City, put Tehran. It looks exactly the same. The difference is that Tehran is 8 million people. Salt Lake City is like, I don't know, 1 million people. Awesome. But we have we have skiing here. Like I used to work at a ski resort. I used to design uh, snowboarding areas, snowboarding jumps. So, well, yeah, we have... Uh, is, it is it real snow? Real snow? Oh, yeah. We got, we got lots of snow here in winter. I mean, up in the mountain, we get lots of snow. We, matter of fact, have an active volcano called Damavan. And every time you go up there, you cannot go to the peak because there's fumes of gases coming out. So I'm trying to, hopefully I can go and film it one day. You should do what uh, this last guest ju just did and fly yeah. a drone right into yeah. it. Uh, it's actually just fumes. It's a gas comes out. And there's no lava. There's no visible lava. Okay. Oh. <laughs> it's called Mount Damavant. Yeah. Yeah. So here, here's a question for you. Since you have a ski resort there, uh, you you were in Utah. I'm in Colorado, and you probably know you can't fly drones at a ski resort. Can you at your ski resorts? Um, so here it is. If you go to the yeah, and the private areas and private resorts, if the owners allow you to do it, you can fly as long as it's in their 
uh, rules and you don't hit anything or anybody, you, you can fly. Yes. But well, then I will have to come visit you with the Skydio too. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. I used to, matter of fact, I used to work for Park City Mountain Resort, so just a part time to get the tickets, you know, because it was like thousand yes. dollars season pass. So when yes, you when, I, I'm quite aware when you eventually move back to the United States, where are you planning on on living? Well, it's based on my wife. She's, I mean, she's uh, she's going to become a lawyer and she's getting the PhD. You know, she wants to be in New York, but she doesn't know how much it costs to live in New York. I I'm an ocean guy. I love Florida. And yes, you know what? I, I was going to say Florida because if she's a lawyer, there's plenty of f ups in Florida just doing all kinds of <laughs> law breaking. So go down there. You hear about all the faces on the side of the road. Yeah, Florida man does something dumb. Call you know. Uh, yeah, we definitely we're not definitely we're not going to Salt Lake City. You know, in Salt Lake City, it's I always say it's Utah. It's its own country. I mean, people do Utah. It's the mecca of of the Christians, you know, I mean, I don't know. Do you know laws of Salt Lake City? Do you know, like on Sundays, you cannot buy alcohol in Salt Lake? Yeah, Lake's, yeah. Uh, club is at one. It's, it's very it's much like in Iran, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's very, it's very religious there. Yep. But, uh, uh, Philippe, thank you so much for, for being on with us. And please do thank continue much, to send uh, videos when you can, and I'll share sure. them on the show. Yeah. Uh, before we let you go, would you... In in Farsi, uh, say hello to our maybe other two um, oh, people. Oh, you have Iranian followers. Yes, oh, for sure, by now. Yeah, go ahead. Talk to them. Okay, awesome. Thank you very much, sir, and thank you for uh, you setting your alarm for, for being on with us. Thank you, thank you, sir. All right, we'll, we'll see you later. Bye bye. All right, bye bye. Man, Ken, that was that was really interesting, wasn't it? I could have talked to him for another couple, three hours. He's like such a nice guy, too. Yeah. <laughs>